My OMG moment was the night that I experienced God's indescribable peace. When I was in college, I met a young man who swept me off my feet. He, he uh, would write me love letters. Uh, he would write cards and send them to me. I fell in love. And the night that he proposed to me was the best night of my life. It was amazing, and I just could not wait to start my life with him. A few years after we were married, uh, he received a transfer through his job. So we picked up our family, we moved to West Virginia, got a house, and just really planted ourselves there. I was going to be a stay-at-home mom. Uh, he was going to be the man of the house. I was going to be the new and improved June Cleaver, and I loved it. After we were there for about six weeks, he had to leave on a business trip with a co-worker. So he flew off to Chicago and I went about my days and uh, my life and the night that he was coming home, he called and left a message on the answering machine saying that his meeting got out early, he was going to be able to catch an earlier flight home uh, and I was so excited. So I was doing the normal stuff. We. I put my son to bed in his crib. He was four and a half months old, was folding laundry. Um, and then I got a phone call. Uh, it was his boss and he called and asked what flight he had taken to come home. I said I didn't know, he had left a message, but I knew it was an earlier one. And his boss said, um, turn on CNN. I'm coming over. There's been a plane crash. The next couple of days were a blur. And two nights after Nimish died. I remember putting my son down to sleep in the crib, going upstairs and just collapsing onto the bed. I re just remember feeling like it was just hard to breathe. And I remember going to sleep, praying to God telling him I was lost and I didn't know what to do and that I just needed him, just crying out to him. And that night, God came to me in my dreams and he told me it was okay. And he told me my life was gonna go on. And I remember waking up that next morning, taking the deepest breath that I had been able to take in days. And this peace that God gave me cannot be described. The, the closest I can come are the words that we read in the Bible about just the peace that passes understanding. It was a peace that I needed, that I was desperate for. And it was a peace that changed my life from that moment on. So my OMG moment was realizing that God's peace and His hope um, could meet me wherever I was, could meet me in a time of great sorrow, um, could meet me at a time when I just needed to cry out to Him. And it's real, and it's not just one day, and it's just not one moment, but that peace is with me every day of my life, and it is available to all of us.